welcome back to the channel back with another video on the beautiful h2 uh this time we're going to do the clutch again round two hopefully this time it's all good so what happened is that the first time uh you know we wanted to get a better better clutch plates for this bike so uh, my clutch doesn't go out as fast and all that because the bike is pushing a lot of horsepower it's pushing 300 horsepower so you know you need a heavier duty clutch so uh got a kevlar clutch plates for it that were actually for the h2r but then figured out that the h2r plates don't really fit on the h2's uh, clutch basket and all that so that's why it didn't work out in the first place uh, we didn't know that in the start uh, I honestly thought they're just like H2 plates are upgraded like you know better quality ones I didn't know they're H2R clutch plates but now we got the whole like pretty much H2R clutch kit I believe and that's what's going to be going on the bike it is cold cold weather now where and I'm not excited for it I don't like cold weather I like the heat I'm layered up and it's still pretty pretty cold uh, for whatever reason, I don't know if you noticed in the start, but I was trying to use like my uh, shifter and it just wouldn't work. Hopefully there's nothing else that's wrong. Last time when I rode it back home, it was completely fine. But yeah, I'm not really sure why it wasn't working. Let's try the auto blooper. The auto blooper works, which is very odd. I don't know why the quick shifter wasn't working. It just worked right now, but I had to like press harder. I think this is the same issue that's going with my R1M. Now it makes me wonder, is it like a clutch issue? Because the audible for works perfect, so I don't know if it's the sensor of the shifter. It could be like, you know, the clutch itself, which would make sense if my clutch was out on the R1M because that bike, I definitely have used. I used to do a lot of like dig raises with it, uh, me and my friends a lot, and uh, I rode that bike pretty hard. Took it to a few track days. A lot of traffic. But yeah, ha like right now this doesn't feel right at all. Shifting. The H2's uh, shifter used to be like butter smooth so I'm not gonna be using it I'm just gonna shift manually which I always say this perfectly fine now I don't know <laughs> this is weird H2 just needed uh, six of rest off even though it hasn't been that long since I rode it but yeah it shifted perfectly fine I don't know we'll see how it rides after the whole clutch thing and it wouldn't make sense if I need a new sensor for the auto blooper quick shifter because this quick shifter auto blooper is very new I doubt it even has like over a thousand miles on it thank you sir so yeah not sure we'll find out very soon especially because the auto blooper is working perfectly fine but yeah I don't always explain it to people because I still know yeah, what the hell? It's shifting perfectly fine. Till now, I get people asking me all the time. They're like, how do you shift without using your clutch? It's a, sh a quick shifter, ladies and gentlemen. This, okay, you can't see it on here. Each bike is a little different, but this one, I can see it. it's right under the frame, but you guys can't see it. Uh, it's a little module that pretty much allows you to shift without using your clutch. The only time you need a clutch is when you're going to neutral. And sometimes, like my R1M, that since uh, the sensor of the quick shifter like goes out pretty much, you just wear and tear, and you gotta get that replaced over time. Uh, but for this bike, I think it's more of a like clutch plate issue or something like that because my uh, auto blooper on this bike is very new. Most uh, newer bikes, especially leader bikes, already come with a quick shifter, so you can upshift. Uh, without using a clutch, but some bikes still don't have the auto blooper. 
option which is shifting up and down and this bike didn't have an auto blower which is why I did it I got an aftermarket one for it so I can shift up and down without using my clutch the road here is not good at all I've always told you guys how like sensitive my throttle is on this bike so this is where I feel it the most when the road is bumpy it just cuts power that's how sensitive it is just from like the bumps good thing about cold weather is that it's boost weather baby especially with a supercharged bike the bike definitely feels a little more a little more aggressive one day I'll get me another issue so I can like daily it that'd be fun put a tune on it that isn't as aggressive you know with a throttle response and all that and I don't know because I kind of if I get another issue I want to build it you know stretched 400 horsepower all that stuff this bike is 300 horsepower and it's already like insane I don't I don't even know why you would need 400 horsepower but I want to try it you know this bike is like the opposite from smooth we're gonna stop by get some food because uh, my appointment is still a little bit longer than right now. Sun setting way earlier, so I don't like that at all. <sighs> all right, we are back. New clutch plates are on, new clutch discs. I already did a little test ride just to make sure that it works so we're not stuck like last time. The bike ran. is back ladies and gentlemen all right guys for whatever reason my GoPro keeps shutting off I have no idea why battery was full and all but it's malfunctioning all you guys need to know thank you so much for watching I hope you guys like this video please and yeah the H2 is back peace out right time guys <laughs> <laughs>